And here's, here's another one. Here's another one, Chris. Uh, at uh, Nova Scotia, mm. they've actually found reeds, not trees, reeds in the upside down position. So reeds would would uh, rot and deteriorate much quicker than a tree. So oh, why yeah. are they in a polystrate um, formation? Oh, they right. have to be buried very quickly to be preserved. Yeah, correct. Yeah, and they know and they know they're buried upside down because. Uh, reeds, if you know, they're like sugar cane. They they grow in like segments, mm -hmm. and by looking at the connection of the segments, you, they, they can predict that whether it's in the upright position or in the downright position. Oh. And these are in the downright position. So how do they explain that? Yeah, tricky. Looks like we got a nice crew. Man, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, or is uh, in chat. Hello, yeah. you, buddy. Hello. I love, I love. Well, he's a good hey, guy. Or, 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 can you explain yes, why the, the, the reeds in Nova Scotia are, bur are buried in a polystrate position upside in the upside-down position? Uh, well, I'm not, of course, super familiar with the reeds of Nova Scotia, but um, if I I'm going to assume everything you said was 100% accurate, and I'd say your, uh, your explanation probably works. It probably was some sort of fast deposit. Okay. And that's all oh, we're saying is that there's evidence when they say there's no evidence for a global flood. I, I just want to point out something real quick. All you guys are newcomers except Remy. I just point, point, point that out. Oh, I'm Remy, sorry. Remy, I, didn't Remy, I apologize. Remy has been doing uh, uh, doing this for years and a long time. I, Remy and I go way back. Uh, I've known Remy for many years. And I just point now, I'm just teasing you guys about being newcomers. Mm -hmm. That's all. Just having fun. Ah, but I changed um, my name a few years back, so I, I, I was I snuck in a lot of uh, discussions in the past. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, Remy's been at it for uh, since about two thousand eight or ten, eleven at the latest. Yeah. No, two thousand seven is when I started joining. Oh, you. there you go. Same year. Yeah, I did. About, yeah. yeah I, I was about two in two thousand seven or two thousand eight. I can but remember. The first time I ever actually heard of creation, the young Earth creation, was back in ninety nine. Uh, Remy and I used to join Shock of God's chat room. Yeah. Okay. I remember yeah. Shock of God. I was there too. Yeah, or you've been around. Well, you? then you guys yeah. probably remember at that time. You know, cre creationists were way outnumbered. <laughs> hey, what's so, up? Atheists you know, are the dominated. Not so much anymore, though. Go Yo, I, I, I don't guess I've met you. Uh, four star, or are you still, uh, new to my hangouts anyway? Aren't you? Yeah, this is my first time my friend brought okay. me here. Evolutionist yeah, or hater of God. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, uh, brother Neff, I had a little question. Like, you know, after the flood, how do we have 7 billion people now? Is that, like, possible in 4,000 years? Um, yeah, uh, sure. In fact, uh, population genetics kills evolution. I mean, if if man had become Homo sapiens sapiens 250,000 years ago, the population of the Earth would be trillions today just doing it in the same math. Oh, yeah, for, for sure. So, yeah. Um, now, the evolutionist counters this by saying, well, man was, you know, he was, he was, he didn't have any technology, and so he was a struggling little tribe. That's all he was, just a little. Yeah. You know, and he couldn't survive well enough to populate big, you know. But oh, that yeah. makes no sense because think about it. They say that human beings had fully human intelligence by 200, 250,000 years ago. Well, are you mean to tell me that man had normal human intelligence 200,000 years ago, but he's too stupid to invent a trowel, <laughs> a wheel, a brick? I mean, yeah. a chisel, I mean, a bow and arrow, a, 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 you know, no technology. And then suddenly, 5,000 years ago, boom, man's yeah. got literature and oh, yeah. archaeology and architecture. I mean, oh, yeah. building massive stone things, right, out of multi-ton stone. Mapping the, mapping the solar system. Oh, yeah. 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 He's got a yeah. Well, like so, astronomy yeah. and all that, right, just suddenly, 5,000 years old. <laughs> ago it's just stupid so man was fully human according to the evolutionist had normal human intelligence that we have today and he was just in walking around i go to work give check to what i'm a monkey i don't think so yeah and a thousand years 
Now, if, if, even if you if you even if you accept the uh, two hundred thousand years, and only in the last five thousand years we've had this population growth, that's one hundred ninety five thousand years of of uh, an original population of ten thousand. You work that out. One hundred ninety five thousand times ten thousand is uh, what is it? Um, One point nine trillion bodies. Where are all the bodies? Right. That's another good point, George. Where's all the graves? Yeah, yeah. you got a lord. You have the you have a Lord of the Flies problem where apparently somebody got voted off and got killed every every year. Is oh yeah, well, they just so they, like, uh, well, uh, they tripped and cracked their head on a rock. Yeah. Or for for the modern folks, uh, the Hunger Games. After a population <laughs> reaches a certain uh, number, you have to start killing people. So oh, yeah. Apparently, well, so apparently for 200,000 years, say you had 1.1 ch- children per family, you have a population growth, you know, say starting at 10,000. That's another 100 a year for 200,000 years. That's another two times 100. That's at least 20 billion people by now. Yeah. Oh, it would have been. And it's funny thing minimum. is, at the very a, 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 a study produced not too long ago, a white paper in a science journal said uh, that uh, fi- uh, um, all of the uh, single nucleotide variants, uh, that is the changes, the mutations that have changed the genes that we have that code for proteins, seem to have arisen for some reason in the last five to 10,000 years. Yep. <laughs> Well, that supports the yeah, old uh, model. So, and yeah. I think uh, one of my friends talked about me that the oldest uh, tree on Earth is only like 6,000 years. The Methuselah tree, have you heard about that? No, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. Yeah, the Methuselah tree, it's still, uh, it's the oldest tree on Earth. And uh, it only goes back to, here, I'll, go ahead with the conversation. I'll, I'll, I'll screen share it if Neff will let me. Hang on. Ever, somebody, ever, somebody, ever. Somebody, somebody actually corrected me on that once, and the oldest tree was around 11,000 years. Well, that's, that's, no. that's based on uh, counting false yeah, rings right. as yeah. real rings, too. Yeah. 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 It's okay, because yeah, 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 sometimes you, you can have more rings. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you Sorry. debunk that. Some trees can have uh, two, maybe. Don't you think down. that the people that counted yeah. those rings would be aware of that? Yeah, they depending, are. depending on the nitrogen mixture and the so, pH balance, the people that count grow a lot faster. Tree ring so day. People that count the rings got it wrong, but then never corrected sure. themselves. That's right, because of their paradigm. Tree ring dating oh, okay. is it, tree ring dating has pretty much been given up, even by the secular camp. They don't hold to it because of that. It's fallen into uh, uh, out, out of general. out of popularity in the last thirty mm-hmm. years. Just so like that the, it doesn't uh, work for your case either. You can't use you can't use age of right. tree then either. Nope. Um, well, if if we well, don't find any with fifty thousand rings, I can. Yeah. <laughs> That's what well, but saying. you just said the rings <laughs> can vary. So how can you use mm-hmm. age of trees for your case if I can't use age well, of? Well, rings I, it doesn't. It, it's not precise to the to the hundredth year. You know, I'm just pointing out that there are no trees with fifty thousand rings. Why not? Same thing with uh, well because they would. Die right. Same thing they, with same thing with ice layers. We just same don't have any. The, uh, we don't have any plants. fossils of trees with fifty thousand rings either. Well, because things die. Yeah. Well, okay, I, so they die. You, you, want, you want the Earth creation? Back in old no, I, you have gigantic trees that survive for tens of but thousands. But we have trees. No, no matter how you slice it, it, we don't it's have the evidence that trees have ever grown to a great age. So That's then, trees are the point of evidence for either side. No, they're just evidence that n- no, there are no trees older than mankind's records of his own history. Can I can I just answer uh, evolutionists, uh, a hater oh, of awesome. God? If if you go to a web uh, any website or any uh, web search uh, facility and type in population growth calculator, there's a calculator there that you can actually enter the various variables of growth rate, etc. That will give you the population. Uh, that you're after after eight thousand years, for example, or, or four and a half or five thousand years. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, sorry, that, go ahead. No, go ahead. You're fine. Uh, I was gonna say on that population uh, growth conversation you were having. I think a good thing to keep in mind is that up until basically <clears throat> the 1700s, the population was rather steady due to no reason for it, no industrialization, no change in culture to have it grow fast. Population, the population curve is flat 
up until the past, heck, even the past 50 years, it only starts jumping. So you complain about, well, why, why didn't the populations grow extensively? They didn't grow extensively for 4,000 years before technology arrived. That's the point. So for that 4,000 <laughs> years, 250,000 years ago, if man had normal human intelligence, then 246,000 years ago, man should have had the wheel and architecture and, and massive stone monuments then. And well, they would have had airplanes, you well, know. No, to, no, no, again, no, no, wait, let me finish. They would have had airplanes 2,000 two, uh, 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 2, well, years after that. That's you know. technology... If you watch the growth of the human population and you compare it with technology, things don't happen on a linear scale. They happen more or less exponentially. That's part of the problem with population growth today. <laughs> Saying have- why don't have why don't why didn't cavemen have airplanes is out of nowhere. That's a complete ridiculous. Oh, oh, no, no, it's oh, not. Oh, yeah. It works like this. You you can't explain why man had fully normal human intelligence 200,000 years ago and couldn't invent the trowel, a brick, or, or, or a bow and arrow. You can't do that. That's oh, the what? What? Oh, 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 yes. even, even, if you're, even if you're right, <clears throat> most evolutionists claim that um, the population, the the um, hominid, hominid uh, population was around 10,000 years for uh, what you say, Neff, 246,000. You multiply 246,000 by 10,000 and, and ask yourself, where are all the bodies? Well, they would decay. Bodies yeah. decay. We so do not have every body, no. every single person that survived so, since 1700 either. So out, out of the millions of people that have existed, no, since then, in a, in a we don't have fifty or... of them. We don't have a we don't have a hundred because we don't, we don't have millions any. Millions of ants die all the time. We don't have we're not we don't, we don't have any. We have, we have amber, amber so, uh, ants. So fifty million human beings existed in the world prior to Jesus Christ, and we don't have record of any of those guys. Well, first of all, you're changing the subject here. We'll be talking about. The bodies? Are we talking about records? Where are there buildings? Bodies. Where are there buildings? No preservation of anything archaeological. Nothing. No record of them well, doing nothing. Okay, so we're going oh, right. with uh, yeah. caveman airplanes again. Yeah. The right. It depends on where you look, right? You have <clears throat> civilizations in the Indus River Valley, uh, Mesopotamia, what have you, that predate. The Chinese have a record that predates 6,000 years ago by itself uh, how much beyond, not, not two hundred thousand years a hundred years a thousand the, beyond the uh formation of civilization you do find artifacts you find your axes and your what have you even north america before great. the olmecs they have these things great but that goes to show that they didn't have these large permanent structures capable uh-huh. and there's no reason to think that they should have that's a yeah, completely out of nowhere requirement that you're making up. No, not at all. Uh, if man had normal human intelligence, it only stands to reason that 240,000 years ago, he would have had automobiles. It, it makes what? no sense to believe no. <laughs> that human beings with normal intelligence can't invent something like that. In well, they did. For, they, look how they fast. Did for look the, how fast man. How many thousands of years. Look how fast man's technological. Ago. Look how fast man's technological advancement went from uh, 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 I'm going to I'm, I'm going to give you I'm going to pretend that there are 10,000 years in the history in the past. OK, from 10,000 years ago to 5,000 years ago, that's where all came from. So that's, there was no burst. There was no burst in man's technological advancement ex- until then. Yeah. For some yeah, reason, man didn't invent any, let, me finish, let me finish. Let me let me finish. Man couldn't have invented the wheel or a trowel or a brick for crying they, out loud. They a did. brick, uh, so, you know, prior to 10,000 years ago. So, for 220 or 40,000 years, man has normal human intelligence, but it's only playing with sticks and stones. Weird sentence, normal human. Again, I'll repeat my no sense. It, it doesn't make sense. These trowels, these bricks. If you give me a specific date that's a requirement, we can look back and see how old the ancient well, I'll give you that how old ancient spears are if you want. Sure. I'll but give you that 10, date. 000, for your 10,000 year example, from 10,000 years to like 1650, barely anything changed. 
you had bricks to build buildings, but and the clothing was the same, the farming was the same, and then the past like 200 years, that's where you actually have big jumps. The Greeks no. farmed the same way that the medieval Europeans did. And, they, and that's a or, much larger path of time. No matter what you say, there's no way to account for the reasoning that man was adult for 245,000 years. Characterization. No. It, it makes no sense. If man had, uh, when man was, was fully human 240,000 or more years ago, then we should have been having, we should have had automobiles 230,000. Such a weird 000. argument. Such a weird argument. No, it's just true. It's obvious. It's, it's wrong to believe that man has normal human intelligence and an IQ of 100 and plus and can't invent something like the wheel for 200,000 years. It's not sensible. Yeah, o Ogie, Ogie, uh, Ogie, we can't even, we, we can't even, we can't even figure out how they built the pyramids, mate. And you're yeah, talking about technology. The pyramids aren't difficult. Pyramids are understood. <laughs> no, they're not. Really. Oh, they're not. No, not no. really. You're cutting, really. you're cutting square bricks and pulling them with pulleys. Okay, wait, now, wait, wait. Let, let me point are. something out about that idea. Hauling them up ramps to get them up yeah. to the pyramid, right? Is that sure. right? Sure, why okay. not? Right, do you realize that to do that that way, they would have had to have built something that multiple times the mass of the pyramids in order there to There are do many that. theories. The ramp. The ramp. The, was, the ramp. That one theory. Let me finish without well, that, talking over me. I know me. You're, you're going down. Let me down finish a, without talking over argument. me. Let me finish without talking over me. Uh, mm. The ramp itself would have had as much mass as the pyramid. They would have had to have built multiple ramps. It's not a workable idea. It's, it's counterintuitive. So that the ramp idea doesn't make sense. You should watch a I've documentary watched in Egypt that's been I've made after all. 1980. I've watched that's all that stuff. Very old, I, very outdated. No, I've music. watched all that stuff. I've seen the newer ones. They they don't account for how the pyramids were built. You know, Nef, Nef, the fact the fact that Og uh, mentioned there are many theories suggests they don't know. That's if right. there are many if there are many theories, then obviously. They're not really sure. That's right. Well, hence the point of theory. Yes. Yeah, many theories though. Many theories. If if they if they all agreed on one, then they they would say there is a theory. But at the moment there isn't. There are theories about how they were that? built. I'm confused as to why that's a bad thing. You can't well, know theories. for sure without a time machine, so you got to take your best education. Well, if there's multiple theories, it's because one of them hasn't stood the test of, of, of analysis yeah. to prove itself to be the, the, the true way it happened. It's kind of <laughs> obvious, right? Even, even, even a, modern, the, a modern crane, pick up the largest crane in the world we have today, there is no way they could lift those stones. Are you sure and extend about that? Them out. Aren't you an engineer, Ex George? Yes, I am. Extend it out to that distance. Do you know how right. big? Do you know how big those pyramids are? Right. The the lead, the weight of the stone when you extend the crane's arm outward becomes exponential in relation to the ability of the crane to stand upright. Co correct. Correct. Tons. It's a can yeah, It's a cantilever. Fifteen tons each ton each stone. And again, now we're going from slot from um, ramps to cranes for some reason. They no, could no, have no, we no, were, no, we're just pointing out they haven't established a scientific method by which they can know that the pyramids were built. It's still mysterious. That's all there is. Yeah, the my, largest my point crane is, even with modern technology, thousand tons. Here's one of the interesting thing about the pyramids: they had to have placed those stones in such a way as not damage any of them, because they would have had perfect smooth so, facings. Yeah, that's called set stone those, stone. Let me finish. When they set those stones in place, they would have had to have been able to set them so precisely. That means their equipment would have had to have had so much power over the gravity that's affecting that stone what? that that they would have been able to manipulate the stone and place it with ease. George, am I right? That's yeah, called and the, 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 the other thing is but they would George, have had, they would have to have question, please, real quick. They, they would have had to have knowledge of bearing capacities of the foundations they were laying it on, because if you calculate the total total weight of those pyramids, they must have had knowledge of safe bearing capacities of materials. So they would have known 
to to actually uh, construct it on a on a specific foundation, right. so that the whole structure Stop. didn't wobble like like the uh, Leaning Tower of Pizza. Yeah, you First can't just all, pick okay. a dirt lot and say it's a the pyramid there, you know. Because it's going to sink and, and tilt and break apart, right? So, first of all, the largest crane in the world can hold 5,000 tons. The pyramid stones were looking 50 to 80 tons. So, the biggest uh, no, crane no, no, in the world no, could no, pick oh, up oh, any oh, of those rocks. Oh, the, the, yes. the, 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 the crane would have to extend that load over the, the half the length or half the width of the, um, we easily of the pyramid to lay the stone. Up. We could easily have cranes, modern the pyramid no. could be built modern. That's no. not a question. Second, no, we don't have cranes no, that can do that. Look it up. Secondly, no, we don't I have cranes that'll have do that. No reason to assume that the architects in Egypt did not have the ability to plan the pyramids. Well, thank you no very much. Assume. That's exactly what we're saying. They had the technology. Mm -hmm. They had the technology. You're you're arguing the opposite. That they didn't no, have the technology. No, I'm not. I haven't argued the opposite at all. You did. That, See, what? So How, the, what the, the problem? The problem right is, is that the uh, theories involve include uh, mud, uh, sorry, uh, clay, you know, forming the stones as they moved along, or rolling, ro rolling, uh, rolling logs, or sa uh, moving sand. Yes. Or 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 building uh, or building concrete. Uh, ramps as but none of these would allow th one thousand to ten thousand men to lift fifteen tons every out every few hours up a you know and it, by the way uh, gravity makes uh, makes lifting uh, weight uh, increase depending on the man the man to the man the, the manpower to weight ratio sure so so I'm sorry but I, so I guess if you have ten thousand so men. Which, that's that's a that's a that's a, side, that's a side. So I gotta divert this question real quick. What? Why are you guys? Are you guys trying to argue some ancient alien stuff here? No, we're just no, saying. We're that not, we're pointing out like, where's all the tool? Where's all this? You know, supposedly copper. Is that what they use? Or bronze? Copper? To, I think they have the bronze. Age, I think. Where, where, where's all the tools that, mm -hmm. that, that there's? There, there they, should be. They, we have oh, tools from Egypt. I'm not talking about hieroglyphs showing them. Using yeah, they they did do some uh, uh, building of uh, pyramids, but the great pyramid I'm talking about. Yeah, but where are all the tools that would be needed? You know, the cutting. You know how much cutting would be involved in that? You know, I mean? yeah. Well, not only to do that, but to make those stones geometrically right. perfect. Uh, aren't yes. you? Aren't you? Uh, don't you believe the pyramids were built by the Egyptians using the tools they would have had at their disposal? Uh, no. I'm not saying they weren't. Uh, all, sure. I'm saying all, is we don't, all I'm saying is about we don't sure, know no. how they did it. We don't know, understand the technology by which they were able to achieve it. That's mm -hmm. all. I'm sorry. Exactly. So you think yeah, they, exactly. they had advanced technology? Obviously. And then yep. that technology was lost somehow? Yeah. Yep. Oh, this is an to aliens conversation. Not really. No, I'm not, not saying no. aliens are involved. I'm just saying man well, had age aliens technological. Just, man was. Man I'm saying had man had knowledge. technological knowledge in the past that has been lost, and some of this is still lost. For example, <laughs> there are some of these. Well, or listen to me for a second, would you? There are stones in the temple at Baal back in Lebanon that weigh. Uh, uh, I don't know how many. What is it? A couple thousand tons. They are mm -hmm. cut to geometrical perfection. We don't have saws today that can cut a 60-foot-long block of stone that weighs 3,000 so, tons. It's very funny. Where did that saw back. come from? I have a, I have a current this YouTube saw? series. I, I have a current YouTube series where I'm going over Brian Forrester and his talk about the stones at Belbeck. I've been actually been doing this, looking into this very Great. recently. Great, you have. Stones, but it hasn't been solved. Well... <laughs> Yes, it has. The stone no, at Bellbeck, you're referring to like the stone of the pregnant woman, which is which are unquarried gigantic megalith structures. No, I'm talking about the ones used in the basement and on the base uh, in, 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 in the, the stone foundation. Bellbeck is, an, is a Roman itself. temple. Bel the temple you're talking about is a Roman temple. I don't care who the built it. The quarry itself. I'm talking about the stones. Yes, the quarry the itself. Bellbeck, again, I, I I have a series ongoing. I'm in, I'm working on part four here coming up soon. Oh, Bellbeck has gigantic granite rocks. Is granite hard to That's cut? Right. Yes. Bloody ugly. Granite? Really? Yes. People... 
People yes. make statues out of granite literally every day. So you can cut how, granite, you can how cut did granite they with cut a stone and a hammer. How did they cut stones that were so long and large with so that they were geometrically perfect? How do they well, do that? Hey, they're not geometrically perfect. They're square, and you, you can square that's any. That's what I mean. A square, a square is they're, not does not require they're precise perfectly tools. squared. Is my point. That's a. They're not perfectly squared. Again, okay. they're just square. Yes, they are. B. You can cut. They are perfect. Granite squared. with a chisel and hammer. They're not lopsided or angled. They don't have angles okay. to their sides. Wait yeah, a second. They don't have angles. Wait, angles wait, wait a second. Things. Or be quiet long enough for somebody else to talk. Oh, they don't. They are safe. geometrically correct. They don't have angles oh. to their sides. They are. They are geometrically correct. They when they were made when and, and before they had any erosion to them, the uh, archaeologists say those stones were perfectly smooth and square. Okay, they were cut with some method that allowed them somebody to cut a truly massive, very long piece of stone to that geometric perfection. We do not know how they did that. They've, they, they've, uh, they've, the other thing is, is they've they've got perfectly get get this oak. They've got perfectly round holes drilled in granite. Yes. How did you think they've got perfectly circular holes drilled in granite? Well, they had right. drill presses. Yeah, they had exactly. drill presses, but the way in, in that, granite no, drill presses. Modern granite. day sculptors. Have they cut into yes, granite, granite in a circle? Yes. Granite. Granite. Modern day sculptors use hand tools on granite. I, I made three videos on this already. There are <laughs> granite quarries in <sighs> India and in Pakistan right now where people are chopping up and taking out perfect squares of granite using hand tools. No, you can or, watch a video of people yes, doing this. You know, this is what 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 uh, um, what George is pointing out is, if you just take some regular steel drill bits and attempt to drill a three foot hole inside a piece of granite, do you know how many of those drill bits you're going to go through before you get to? I'm sure a lot, but you still get the hole. <laughs> let me let me point this out. Is, uh, 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 George, am I right or am I right? <laughs> No. You're going to oh, burn God. up one what, hell of a pile of What bits. does that have to do with the fact that it can be done with a drill? Because they had a technology that enabled them to do it without All they drill, all they drill. Or just don't talk over me endlessly when I'm talking. You have to be quiet and let other people talk a little bit. Okay, so the point is this. They had drills capable of drilling in it without the guy saying, okay, here's the plan, guys. The engineer saying, we're going to drill a three-foot hole into that granite. It's going to be four centimeters wide, and you've got 12 hours to do it. And the guy said, man, that'll take, you, that'll take us months. No, you ain't got months. We're going to have to make 90 drill bits out of steel to do it. No, you ain't got that many bits because we've got to move that stone this week. Okay. What? I'm sorry. Or this month or even this year. I mean, they don't have time to sit around and make drill bit after drill bit after drill bit, burn trying to burn one hole into a stone three feet deep. I'm sorry, Orge. You're thinking inside that, a tiny box. So, okay. One, you're literally making up random things here that the, the people that cut the the people that cut the stones at Bellbeck had a time frame of a week to do it or whatever. That's well, I, I, that makes, or, when, that's or whatever the time it. frame was. Whatever Secondly, the time frame was. Whatever. Secondly, the tools that they would have used, the difference between a hand tool and a power tool is that a power tool makes it easier. A hand tool will take longer, but they accomplish the same task. Again, so how long modern take? day how, how long however long they want to do it. The stone that Bell Beck is famous for is a failed it is a failed excavation because it cracked because it was too big. That's the stone Bellbeck is famous for. Is a mistake stone. These and people lots of them did mistakes. stuff and they made mistakes. And lots of them aren't mistakes. They fit together like you can't fit a piece of paper between them. So yeah, that's that every called, time that's called proving amazing. that every that's time proving that every time they cut one of those things, it came out perfect every time. You we imagine? have examples. Now, of you know, and, and and hold on now. Let me finish. And what that implies is they used machinery to do it. They didn't use hand tools because to get the stones to be perfectly squared every time means you have one set of machines and it's probably adjustable and it makes a cut 
and it does it exactly the same every time. If you have humans involved, it ain't going to turn out perfect every time. There has to be standards. It has to be mechanically precise. Something mechanical cut those stones. George, am I right? George is the engineer. Uh, so, sorry, Neff, I, I'm about to pass out. I'm going to have some lunch. I didn't okay, hear that. Okay, <laughs> go eat. So, so this implies they had machine technology yes, to make the I, story. I understand your point, now. Okay, good. And again, I'm going to... We gonna don't know what kind of technology that, that One, was. these rocks aren't perfect. They are two, perfect. Two, well, two... They don't have angles to this size. This level of masonry has existed throughout history. I'm sure you're not going to say that this stuff existed in medieval or, times. Are you telling us but that medieval stone masons could do the exact same stuff? Because or, they all have the same hand tools. You just implied that the sides of those stones were not geometrically squared. Is that what you're saying? I said they're square, but this idea of perfection that can't be achieved with a hand tool how, how do is you know? completely incorrect. Okay, so you're willing to believe that men with hand tools are able to cut a stone that's 50 feet long and, and 9 feet tall and weighs hundreds of tons, and they're able to do that so precisely with hand tools, hand-eye coordination, that they're going to get the sides of this thing perfectly squared and smooth. Yes. I'm just going to tell you something. That's delusional. <laughs> it's so the the correct the correct uh the correct story here is some ancient lost technology and the yeah. weird thing obviously. is people using hand tools obviously it's ancient technology that's lost obviously and do we have this do we have this technology currently well we do um, but no and, so and they had electricity you know, then um, or it, well, there, it, there, there, there is no consensus let, on how let, they built this though you know that right let me put it this way man has the potential possibly to create a machine that could cut those stones to that we don't have any but we could probably build a saw that would do it it might cost a million or 20 million dollars <laughs> with with diamond tips and a giant saw blade that's made of high carbon steel that's two inches wide and the and the and the bit and then the saw blade is is 20, 15 or eight, 18 25 feet tall you're just making might, numbers up now we might be able to, no. to design something like that today we, with we, diamond we, we, we can we, with we can cut tips. through we can cut through steel with high pressure water jets yeah. What, what, yeah. why, why, again, right. you can find plenty of videos of sculptors and stonemasons carving intricate shapes in granite with hammers and chisels on YouTube right now. Yeah, yeah but no, no, no. we're not talking about sculptures the, the or scale, we're talking about what about perfectly round holes in granite? Yes, using the same tools. Yes, you can make round holes. By using a hammer and a chisel, it yeah, takes yeah. Oh, time. Come on now, yeah, come on now. Look it up. Look up stonemason uh, making these or, things nowadays. You're living in a delusion if you think that man with hand tools could have cut those stones so that their sides were geometrically perfect. You're you're just delusional. <laughs> that. So I guess I gotta delusional. say also, I'm so shocked we went into a lost technology conversation. I was not expecting that at all. So <laughs> that's just that's just. I, I did not think any of you guys believed in that sort of stuff. So that's crazy to me. Well, it, it stands to reason, it's, though, for it's irrational. It stands to reason, though, for two hundred forty thousand plus years. You know, you would think you would have more than just you know a dozen uh, still standing uh, great wonders of the ancient world, like the pyramids and. I think the and payment and, 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 and Bamapunku and all these other places around the world, you would think that they'd be literally just outside your backyard for 240,000 years of, of maybe 400 to 1,000 years apiece of uh, pyramids. So if you have it, so if for every thousand years you have another, you know, another uh, monument like the pyramids or Baalbek or Pumapunktu. Uh, being built for every thousand years for 240,000 years with man's brain being as evolved, air quote, as, as is claimed, you would think that it'd be, say, 40,000 years for man to realize they have the ability in the, in the in intellect and the comprehension to, you know, make pulleys and, and use and use uh, moving sand and to make ro uh, to, and to make uh, levers and uh, to make uh, to use riverbeds as uh, uh, as a momentum and inertia 
system for power for a powerhouse. You would think even after forty thousand years, you'd have you know two hundred plus or two hundred thousand plus guys of these monuments for right? every thousand years. You have thousands every thousand years another pyramid uh, equivalent. This so 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 I'm sorry. So where's your so where's two hundred thousand <laughs> of these great monuments like Pumba yeah, and, yeah. and Baalbek and, and I'm sum that up. What from, have you? Lena, chat, Lena in the chat has a good point. She says that the point is that humans were silent for mil for millions of years, and in this case, a few hundred thousand years, and then suddenly, boom, they built the pyramids. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what we're that's what we're saying. Yeah, yeah. And take a look at this one uh, that you see on the screen. They they cut uh, squared holes in the sides of them. But not only that, look at the protrusions along the top. Do you know how much stone they would have had to have removed to have left those nubbins? Why couldn't they have? A lot of stone. Dude. How is this? How is this an argument that they couldn't do it? The, the labor and time necessary to achieve it would outdo anybody's patience for achieving it in a life. <laughs> Oof. What? You've got to be kidding me that they had multiple projects like this going on at the same time and they finished them in a reasonable amount of time. Again, you so first of all, did they, did the engineers say, guys, like here's, the plans, here's the plans, and we hope to achieve this in a century. <laughs> Okay. You, you keep making up random. So you you guys, guys, like three or four you, all your work is going to be passed. Passing. You're going to die and your kids are going to be working on it. And you'll never see the fruit of your labors. But, you know, we're going to do it for the next guy's generations. Well, no. So I'll go back a bit to uh, I, I don't know who was saying about the pyramids every thousand years. I can't. It's teeny little screen. I can't see who said it, but you're to me. I would say you're just making random assertions. Oh no, I'm, I'm pointing say, out the rationale uh, of it, and you're just disbelieving I, the rationale because you're willing to believe something delusional that men are capable of creating. You're talking over me now, F. Now, if you just yelled at me for talking you're, over you, and you're you're, you're, talking you're, over you're me. delusional for believing that man can make massive stones cut to mathematical precision. With with and that doesn't require technology greater than hand tools. I'm sorry. So, what? Uh, so yeah, that's my response to ever said that pyramid every thousand years. That's a random thing. Um, as to your statement now of it would have taken too long. Again, I fail to see how that is a consequential statement. What uh, motivation? People, people, you're saying that people refuse to work on projects that aren't finished by some arbitrary time that you decide is so, acceptable. Uh, so a king decides that he wants... I would a, actually... Wait, let me ask you this. So a king decides he wants a megalithic structure built, right? Uh, but he'll never see the finished product. That makes well, sense Well, what king is building this structure and why, and why so do makes you think it's not taking time? Uh, answer my question. Does it make sense that a king would order the construction of a massive megalithic monument to himself, likely... And never be able to see it. It's finished. <laughs> that's that's a that that's a bogus question. It's pointless. you want to answer the question. Sure, I, sure. I see no reason why someone you, you in do. history would not want to build something they don't know if they're going to finish achieving. That is oh, very. And who's, they're common. going to spend all this time and invest the guy, all this the house time. The rock is a perfect perfect to, example. To build something that only somebody else is going to be able to utilize. Yes, in the house on the rock in Wisconsin in really? America is a perfect example of that. It's an old guy that had lots of money and he built all these ridiculously huge structures it's like a 50 foot long whale sculpture in there was he, he a died. king he's got the world's largest carousel oh, at yeah, the house of the rock right. he fit he didn't finish all of his plans no, but he but finished he a lot of it but he put the money there for after his death because he died of old age for okay. other people to finish it you can go right. to the house of the rock right now and see them but, still building his plans but orge he finished a lot of stuff that he could see in his lifetime he didn't start anything he could not see in his lifetime yes he did he's no. he was working on things that he no. didn't well, the things he built were visible to himself in his lifetime he wanted to add more stuff <laughs> Or you're not even using human reasoning here. Man, okay. this is a weird conversation. I was yeah, it, I was over talking about poly straight fossils. I, 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 and I, I think, like ancient aliens coming we, down. We can, we can, we don't, we're not going ancient aliens. We can I, I back, can believe can that the, the megalithic structures we got off on a tangent there are, are, are all explainable by hand tools and, and, and hand eye coordination is just absurd. And again, the, I, I, the, point, the original point, the original point was the original point was that. If man's been around for as long as they have, we didn't. We should be seeing more, 
more uh, structures and, and evidence of of their um, knowledge that they should have had. You yes. know, of, of building. And more, okay, more tools. Um, like he said, a brick, uh, um, something. You know, I mean, that would 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 show us that they were around two hundred fifty thousand years ago. And there's yeah. a lot, man. And I was, you know, I mean, for example, we we don't know how this was done. we don't know how this was done either. Nobody's figured that out. It's rocks stacked on top of each other. No, it's <laughs> more than enough. that. These rocks are irregular in shape and have sharp angles as well. They are molded, it looks like, together. We don't know how they did it. Neff, 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 can I, can I please make a comment yeah. on that? Yes, please. The, yeah. the, those, those dry walls, they're earthquake resistant, right? They're earthquake resistant. They've been cut specifically to those shapes to make them earthquake resistant. And they fit together so tight you can't fit a piece of paper between them. So, exactly. Okay. So to me, it sounds like you're saying you can't cut a rock into a shape. That's that's what it sounds like you're saying to me. You can't cut a rock into a shape and then put two puzzle pieces yeah, together. That's right. I'm saying this, okay? I'm saying if you're relying on hand-eye coordination, you're not going to get the faces of those rocks to fit together so smooth and perfect with each other that when you set it in place, the entire width of that stone meshes with the other stone perfectly. You no. don't think... No, you, I don't, you don't think that without possible. computers you couldn't plan that. That I don't, that I don't right think is not able to be planned without computers. No, I'm going to tell you outright: men with chisels and hammers could not do that. <laughs> that's that's nuts. Um, who was it, Chris? Did you bring up the old point, right? Well, yeah, that I mean just a basic overarching yeah. point. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess to reiterate, I got to go to bed soon. Sure. But to reiterate my stance on that, I to me it sounds like you're putting artificial requirements on humanity of the past, uh, saying they should have had all these well, things. No, 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 they should have. I mean, to me, saying, that sounds artificial. I'm just saying the lack of evidence is lack of evidence. And then yeah. the other, th my other response to that, to reiterate, was modern tech is technology's growth has been in these spurts. Again, go back, go back 250 years and agriculture, 250 years and 3,000 years ago is basically identical. But agriculture from 250 years ago to now is vastly different. And that, that was only 250 years. So there's no reason to assume technology should be making these jumps when for the past four or 5,000 years, humanity did not make these jumps. That would be my response to that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, we just don't think it's rational to believe that man has I, normal I human knowledge. Yeah, and and you know, and then also the, la the lack of the fossils too. The lack of the fossils that was a too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we can shift somewhere to another topic if you want to. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm still I I was not expect. What would you prefer? I I just say ancient aliens because of the TV show. What's lost technology? What do you guys call that? What's the umbrella term for this conversation? The on, the only person that's brought up aliens, mate, is you. I know because I that's, only, that's the only term I can think of. What what's a better term to use? Babylonian technology when in regards to the Bible and the temp the Tower of Babel. Babylonian technology. You would have larger men capable of building, you know what I mean, larger structures. Do you do you know what was in the Alexandria Alexandria Library? Library of Alexandria? Yeah. Yeah, that was burnt down. Yeah, uh, good point. I don't, I don't know if anyone really knows what's in it, but there's Ex lots of exa theory. Exactly, exactly. Imagine the amount of knowledge we lost because of that. That's yeah, right. That's Carl Sagan, the famous uh, um, um, they probably uh, knew how to make uh, a cosmologist. And Carl cut a Sagan, rock, cut a rock. <laughs> the famous <laughs> cosmologist yeah, Carl Sagan said that he believed, in his opinion, uh, it was that it had the had the great library of Alexandria not been destroyed. Then man, the knowledge housed therein would have caused man's technological advancement to increase at a rate so great that today yeah. we would all have flying eggs. 
we would be able to get inside or step outside our door, push a button, and an egg is out there, and you and the door slides open, you get inside it and say work, and it drives you to work in the sky. That's what we would have. He said we have we would man technology would be five hundred years ahead of where it is today. That was his opinion. Now he might have been wrong. Let's say let's say he was wrong in only two hundred. Wow. Still, uh, so man's technological knowledge would have increased dramatically, very, very rapidly, had that all the information in that library uh, had not been destroyed. Yes. So the way I take that, that logic quote, is actually a bit flawed. So what? The logic Nephilim was using there is actually pretty flawed. Well, what, I, what my response to in that? Be, to that no, no knowledge think, increases recall, knowledge. I think what Carl Sagan is saying is that the base level wouldn't have been lost because, right, the Dark Ages is That's named saying, in such the for the fact that we did not have technological progression. No, you know, we lost Roman concrete, stuff like that, or asphalt, That's whichever it was. So no, had we had that baseline of knowledge set, we could have been building upon it instead of having to more or less recapture it. I'm yeah, not right. saying that technology was 200 years advanced to what we are now. I doubt Carl Sagan was arguing for computers and no, stars but, in the times of the... No, the, nobody says I, that, I, I George. Will, well, but what, 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 was, what he's implying is that there was knowledge therein that we don't have. Lost I technology. I don't agree with that statement at all. And that is why that knowledge would have... Otherwise, we're building on the same technology. If it was only the same knowledge that we have to uh, th that the ancient world has always possessed, and we kept building on that, then we'd be exactly where we are today. See, so the point of pointing out that had the library not been destroyed, man's knowledge would have increased exponentially, is because there's knowledge there that has been lost. Uh, I was actually going to say in regards to regards to this, it's what you were saying, Nephilim. There, it sounds like an extremely similar argument that many people make about the Middle Ages in general, which is actually very inaccurate, as well as um, what's it called? It goes it slightly I'm not sure what you mean. Agree, oh, agree with the idea of exchange of information and exchange of goods and stuff leading to civilizations becoming more advanced. No, uh, the, the implication that the, 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 what, what uh, Carl Sagan's comment on that is uh, uh, alluding to that there was knowledge the ancient man had that was lost. Without that knowledge, man would would have uh, it progressed at the rate that we have. Had that knowledge that is now lost been preserved, man's technology would have advanced vastly faster than it did. That's the point. Knowledge has. I don't been think lost. you heard the first thing I said. Which the first thing I said was that that's a very similar argument that is made typically by atheists that if you know the quote unquote dark ages never happened or the Middle Ages, then we would be living the life of the Jetsons or something, which is actually extremely inaccurate. Hmm. It's also just a Carl Sagan quote. I mean, it's... <laughs> okay, oh, I'm I mean, not sure Carl Sagan has that opinion, but he didn't know it was in Library of Alexandria either. It could have just been a bunch of cute poetry. I don't know. No, no it really wasn't. See, what the Library of Alexandria housed is the Pharaoh of Egypt sent out dic uh, emissaries to all the known civilizations of the world and to buy up or steal their libraries Correct. of all their knowledge. Correct. Whatever it was, whether it's poetry, medical knowledge, archaeological knowledge, I mean, not archaeological, or, or architectural knowledge, mathematical knowledge, whatever they had that they had records of and preserved their knowledge, he sent them out to get every bit of it and bring it to one place. That's what happened. Yeah. I, I I'm aware, but I, well, I got to go to bed soon. And this is ra this is really abstract conversation, anyways. Who knows what the world would be like had X Y Z great wonder of the ancient world not been destroyed? That's very well, this abstract much I can tell you: anyways. if man was normally human two hundred thousand years ago, uh, one hundred ninety five thousand years ago. We would have had architecture, and 190,000 years ago. And again, you're just making up random numbers to me. So. No, it's well, not it random numbers. It's based it, on the how facts. How did it take for the cathedrals to be built? Knowledge but, adds to knowledge. 
I got I got to go to bed. So this was definitely a un, a, unexpected conversation. Good night, or <laughs> man. Thanks for coming in, buddy. Yep. Take care. All right. Oh, gotta go back to my my mouse.